Hello friends, today we are going to see how to find the lowest common ancestor of two nodes in a binary tree. So let's see the example. This is the binary tree and we want to find out the lowest common ancestor of nodes M and R for example. So now what is the lowest common ancestor? The lowest common ancestor for M and R is the node which is the first common node in ancestors of M and R. So let's see what is the ancestor of M is I. Then ancestor of I is D. Then D is B. And for B is A. Now for R, the ancestor of R is E. Then ancestor of E is B. And ancestor of B is A again. So in this path, the first common node is B. And B is the lowest common ancestor for M and R. So this is how we find out the lowest common ancestor. Let's take some more examples. So if you want to find out the lowest common ancestor between P and Q, obviously it is L. L is the lowest common ancestor of P and Q. Now if you want to find out the lowest common ancestor between F and C, then that lowest common ancestor is C itself. Understand that lowest common ancestor is C itself. Out of F and C, the lowest common ancestor of F and C is C itself. Okay. Now, some more examples. So, suppose you want to find out the lowest common ancestor between K and F. So, for K and F, the lowest common ancestor is F itself. So, this is how we find out the lowest common ancestor. So, the steps for finding out the lowest common ancestor are written here. I will read the steps now. So, the first step is search the two nodes in the binary tree. So, you have to search M and R in this binary tree. Now, while searching, so the second step is, if that node is found, then you have to return that node. So, suppose M is there and M is found here, then you have to return M from this node. You have to return the address of M. Then, else, if it is not found, for example here H, H is not equal to M or R, then you have to return null from here. Now, the third step. When some node receives both left and right pointer as not null, means if a node from its left and right pointer receives non-null, that is some node, some address which is mentioned as not null, then it is the lowest common ancestor of the two nodes. Else return what it receives. So, these are the four cases I will explain you now. So, suppose X is the node and from its left child and from its right child if it receives not null nodes means M and R in this case M and R then it means that X is the lowest common ancestor. If X receives null from both children, from both uh, children that is left and right, if it receives null, then it returns null. Then from left child if it receives M and from right child if it is receives null, then it will return the non-null node that is M. So it will return M from here because M is not null. And from right side if it receives R, then also it will choose the not null to return, that is the non-null node to return. So it will return R from here. Let's execute this algorithm on this binary tree so that you can perfectly understand it. So let's search for M and R by using the in order traversal. I have explained in order traversal 
in previous videos on my channel and I have mentioned the link in the description below. So let's quickly revise in order traversal while solving this example. So A is not equal to M or R so go to the left. B is not equal to M or R so go to the left. Then D is not equal to M or R so go to the left. H is not equal to M or R so uh, you have to go to the left but left is null. So we have to return from here and again we have to return. While returning H will return null. Now go to the right of D. I is not equal to M or R so go to the left of I. Yes here M is equal to M. So one of the node is matching here. So when one of the node is matching then as you know that node will return its address. So M will be returned. I am writing the address as M which means that node. So M will be returned here because as mentioned if node is found it will return that node. Okay. Now again check uh, in at the right side whether n is equal to r now we have to check for r because we have found out m so no it is not equal so we return from here null because it is not matching now for this node i its left child has returned m and right child has returned null so m and null so it will return m to its parent so it will return m to its parent. Now here for d its left child has returned null and right child has returned m. So it will select the non-null node to return. So non-null is m. So it will return m. Now let's go to the right of b. E is not matching. Then go to the left of e r. r is matching. Yes, so it will return node R and from right S is not matching to any of the nodes so it will return null. Now R and null so this node will return R. Now for B its left child is returning M and right child is returning R. So B must be the LCA. So this is how we find out the lowest common ancestor of two nodes in this binary tree. Let's take another example k and g. So uh, I will write the answer for m and r and now I will take the example of k and g. So k is here, g is here. Let's see what to do. So for a check all the left subtree. But in the left subtree k and g are not there. So we go to the right subtree. So c is not equal to k and g. Then f is not equal. j is not equal. So return and from f go to the right child k. Yes k is equal. So you have to return k from this node. And from this node already null has been returned. So when null has been returned. So k and null. So it will choose k to return. It has returned k to its parent. Now check to the right of parent for node g. So for g uh, it matches here. g is matching here. So it will return g from here. And as both nodes ret left and right node return g uh, not null nodes left and right pointer return not null nodes so C must be the LCA so C is the answer and similar case for H and P let's look at H and P H and P so they will return up to A and H will return up to A and for A it will return H and P 
uh, it will receive H and P. So this is the LCA for H and P. So let's see the program now. So this is the code and we are going to execute this code on this binary tree. So the name of the function is LCA and root of this binary tree is passed to this function and P and Q are the nodes for which we want to find out the lowest common ancestor. Here for example J and L are the two nodes. So J and L are passed there. So the first step is if root equal to equal to null return null. Yes obviously if the tree is null or if the subtree is null then we have to return null. There is no hope of finding these nodes in the tree. Then the second step is if root equal to equal to p or root equal to equal to q. Basically this is the searching code means we have to search through this binary tree and while searching we have to check whether the node is matching j or the node is matching l that is j and l which is named as p and q. These are the pointers pointing to the node. Now here is the in order traversal code. So the in order traversal code is C. The name of the function is recursively called so root points left and then root points right. So we have to follow the in order traversal and while traversing we are checking by matching the nodes whether we are getting the nodes or not and when we get that node we will return that node. So for example by using in order traversal we will follow all the nodes in this tree in this way and when we reach to this j here then we will return j. So we will return j to its parent and for right side so for right side of f as j is not matching so we have to return null. So we are returning null. So when left is not equal to null so here left side is not equal to null but right side is equal to null. So this condition does not satisfy and we go into else. So in else if left is present then left is returned. As you know out of node and null node we, we return the not null node. So what is not null here? J is not null. So we return J. So we return the left if left is not null. If left is null then we will return the right side which will happen in this case for L as left is null we will return the uh, we will return the right that is we will return L here in this case. So this is how this code works and it returns the lowest common ancestor. Hey friends please subscribe to my channel as I post algorithm videos every day and if you want a video on any particular topic then please mention in the comment below. Thank you.